I chose to be here in Rwanda because I'm very interested in children. So the best part was when I decided to go at this clinic in Gatagara, where we are supposed to work with the children with disabilities such as Down syndrome, cerebral paresis and premature children. The first day we were here we was about to observe what the physio were doing with the children and we saw that their treatment were quite similar to the treatment we are using in Denmark. But we also saw that the mummy didn't do much work. It was the physio who did all the work the whole time. So we think that the best thing we can give to this place is try to involve the mummies so they will be more active instead of the physios doing the whole thing. The physios can support and try to explain the mummies why we are doing as we are doing so she will understand it better and that she will that she will take care of the treatment at home. The professional challenge here is probably that the therapist and the mothers are not speaking English very well, so we have to translate everything through the physiotherapists who are speaking English, and we have had some misunderstanding. I want to wish you uh, welcome in the South American Kigali. Uh, we are happy to collaborate with the uh, University of Denmark and uh, we hope that uh, this partnership will be fruitful. This is a back school for non-specific low back pain. If you have patients with prolapses or uh, herniated discs or anything, this is not the program for them. That's very important for us to say this is not specific it could be acute, it could be super acute. Uh, the cooperation with uh, students from Denmark was, uh, has been a very good experience for me and for this uh, Centre Medical Orchidée because uh, we share uh, knowledge and experience with these uh, students. We start a very good project with them, uh, the project to make a school of back. Uh, the school of back is, uh, is a, a very good project for Rwanda because uh, we have many people who have uh, back problem and uh, we, it is necessary to teach them how to manage the pain because there are many problems of uh, back pain. Being here in Rwanda has changed my international understanding of uh, physiotherapy in uh, many ways. Uh, for example, before I came here to Rwanda, I thought that uh, they would be working with the people in a very biomechanical way that they would be treating a lot. Uh, in Denmark we teach a lot of biopsychosocial uh, part that we have to work with the whole person but they know the physiotherapist here uh, in the Okidi where we have been working that it's also very important to know what the job for example what it does to them that even though they have lower back pain that they still have to go uh, out on work and they, they acknowledge that and they know that it's still a problem um, so it's still something that they can take care of and discuss with the patient. Uh, another thing is that time down here in Rwanda is very different from back home. I think we are very stressed that we only have 13, uh, 30 minutes with our patient. Down here they have a whole hour. Maybe we are more, uh, a little bit more effective in those 30 hours but we are also very stressed and they give more time to the patient. It's a very relaxing environment, the work in here, which we can learn from, I think, back in Denmark. The greatest insight I've had uh, working here in four weeks as a physiotherapist student is uh, probably what you can do with a uh, few things. You don't need to have a lot of technology to be able to practice physiotherapy. You just need to maybe have a more open-minded towards what you want to do. Working with physiotherapy students uh, from Denmark has been great. Uh, not only have I learned a lot as a personal trainer, but I've increased my knowledge in terms of uh, injury awareness and uh, also therapy as well. What has inspired me the most working with the students is that uh, they work out as well. So they just don't show up and teach us about physiotherapy and muscles and uh, also having one-on-one -on -one questions uh, with our clients who have uh, some of these injuries like knee injuries and wrist injuries and uh, we've been able to come up with uh, solutions for their injuries. 
What has surprised me the most being here as Wanda is how advanced physiotherapist really is. Uh, we've been to see the school where they learn physiotherapists, but they do what they can with the means they got and it works for them.